Welcome, Welcome to, to the Mother Daughter Ish Podcast. It's your mama's favorite podcast. And the podcast your daughter always wanted. This is Miss Dawn. And Anjali. From the 713. Houston, y'all. Get connected and stay connected weekly as new shows debut on Sunday, Wednesday, and please check out our Saturday Out and About showcases. Enjoy the show. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and tell every woman on the planet that you know about our show. Here's our show for today. have made it to March 11th so happy March 11th and this is going to be interesting because this was something that you didn't know anything about did you not at all so I have a really nice friend and he is a friend of my friend Louise Dewey and his name is Mr. Bill Scott and he is near Austin Texas in Round Rock and we were went to Round Rock to not only meet with him but to just do some fun things that were over in Austin it's you know barely two and a half hours away so it was really fun, but Bill is an expert and a master at what he has learned over the past, what do you say, 40 years, 40 or 50 years or something like that? Around that. I, like, yeah, yeah, like the last it. 40 years. And you know, when you study something for that long, you are a master at whatever it is. I was talking to Leala last night and I was saying to her that what I know, I know and can't nobody beat me at it. I think when she gets to 20 plus years, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, I think it's it's at that 10 year mark because the 10 year mark and you realize you're still doing the same thing you're loving yeah. it and you're learning more for 20 you're years pretty I much you're mastered OG. it yeah. um this is not a real truth because nobody can figure out where the origin of it came from and then they they try to change it around and say that's not what he meant but there was a um a guy who used to say and he said back in the day anything that you put 10,000 hours in you're a master at so if you put 10, like I've put way more than 10,000 hours into networking. I put way more than 10,000 hours into my business, mm-hmm. way more than 10,000 hours perfecting whatever it is that I know. So I feel like the things that I do for, for certain things that I'm a master in that type of thing. But the thing that we're talking about today that was interesting, and let me just give you a tip because I'm going to remind you again that on our Saturday show, our out and about show, we're going to show you some photos. We'll let you meet Bill and we'll show you kind of like what he did. Cause we did video, some things about it. We did video, some of the conversations we had, of course, with all of his approval and everything, but it, look it up if you want to, it's called Ray it, and it's R-A-Y-I-D personality iridology. Now, if you can remember in 2021, we talked about iridology mm-hmm. and I talked about my results and you've had it in the past. How are you? 16 ish yeah when you were when you were a teenager you had it done so it is a next level part of iridology and it's called rated you know, personality I I 20 iridology. turning 21 no because you didn't live here then did you you moved i by did then. i remember because it was like a 20 or 21st birthday and i had got too cold where i was at and my feet got wet I had, to, I had to remember because I went to the doctor and okay. they thought I had strep throat all this. Anyway. Okay, so it wasn't that long ago then, basically. Yeah. Because when you said, Seven, you know, 16 ago. or something, I was like, oh, that's a long time ago. Yeah. You need to really go in and get your uh, hand analysis and get your iridology and all that stuff done again because the body changes, the eyes changes mm-hmm. and everything. And it can, you know, see some things. But, you know, my next step is I really want to do a full body thermology um, test because what it does is it looks at all of the different uh things in your body and it can tell anything that's like onset or pre whatever and I would really like to do that it used to be like four or five hundred dollars when I called a lady last month she said it's a thousand dollars now and and she's out here in Katy now so I was like yeah I'm gonna wait on that because I don't know I don't know anybody who's had it done and I'd like to know a little bit more before I do it but again Ray it um person you know iridology I'm telling you it was very interesting when you met him what did you think about him because he's a spiffy man isn't he yeah you you kind of get that uh, feeling or energy that he knows exactly what he's doing he just take it so serious you ask one question he break it down I thought we we're gonna be there maybe like two hours but it wasn't even like 45 minutes yeah so you know one thing about me when it comes to elderly 
people, I let them move at their own pace. And when I say let, I don't really have any control over it. What I'm saying is I don't try to rush them. I let them do whatever he wanted to do. You know, we talked yeah. about, you know, if we did the full one and he was basically saying, well, if I do the full one, that's going to take a long, long time. So I thought, you know, if he didn't offer it, then we'll, you know, we'll get what we're going to get or whatever, because we wanted the experience so that we can then share it with our audience. So um, maybe at some point we may go back and get a really, really full one, because I don't know about you, but I didn't, I didn't detect any lies. I didn't either. Everything he was saying was funny because you were like, you know what, that makes sense. You know what, that's true. Especially when he was giving us examples of people not being equally yoked mm-hmm. and that you could see that through their eyes when you test them. And, and then you test so many um, married couples. couples yes. Yeah. And then what the predictions were down the road where either some of them split up or some of them stay together. But I found that so intriguing to the point of like, oh, this man know what he talked. I've always known he knew what he's talking about because the longer version of the testing I had done at Louise's house probably around 2014, 15, something like that. Cause me and Louise been on each other since early two, since like 2001 or something, or maybe 2003. But um, she used to have lots of different get togethers at her house. Right. Mm-hmm. And she always have like white, white elephant parties. She would have, let me tell you at her house, she would have not only Bill, but she would have uh, there's a lady named Polly. That's a psychic. She'd have the, her there. She'd have another lady that was a palm reader. She'd have somebody else that was, you know, like a master at whatever their craft was. But all of us had our lane of what we were masters at. And we would all get together, like maybe sometimes 10 people, maybe 15. That's good, and right? we would all meet out at her ranch and um, just get to know each other. We didn't go there to like do our craft. We went there to just get to know each other. It was like, she was thinking, like, I always think like, I know you and you know this person and that person knows that person. And we all get together and we all get to meet everybody. Um, kind of like our show that we're going to be doing in April, where we're going to be talking to the friends that have known us the longest that we're still talked to on a very, very weekly basis. And yeah. we want to hear what they, I can't wait to hear what they have to say about us and you know what kind of friend they are. Because here's something I learned that every person that you've met in your life has a different version of who they think you are. Oh, yeah. Now, that to me is exciting because I had a dream. Shh, don't tell nobody. But listen, I had a dream that at my funeral, and I don't know where all these people came from, but that I had a whole side of men that I knew. Now, I didn't think I know that many men. And baby, they was, they, they, well, what year was you, was you dating her? Well, wait a minute. Well, what year? Was you? That freaked me out because I was like, I would love to know what every person version of me is like y'all have y'all own version of who y'all think I am. Peyton has her own version of who she thinks I am. And I just find it intriguing because when it comes down to the core of it, probably none of it is who I think I am or who I, I know I am. I think that was the only humorous thing I found it like at my dad's funeral. I was like, you just saw him Tuesday. You just saw him Wednesday. You just saw him Tuesday night. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How old is women? Like, I was like, I, I, I knew, but I didn't know. I was like, what you mean? You just saw him. Oh, now you I, want the details? Two, three day, people in one day. They, they were all saying that they all was, I was like, wow okay well that I find so interesting I have gone to people's funerals and the other women showed up with the kids that they've had with so-and-so grandpa and it's been a hot real ridiculous mess and mm-hmm. it's like the version of that person that that person thought they were is not the version that even the wife knew is not the version that the the other kids that they had on the side knew it's not even the version of who their brothers and sisters think they are like, we know who we think Peyton is, but she doesn't think that's her. So she has her version. We know who we think Savon is, but mm-hmm. I wonder what his girlfriends that he's dated, they think what type of person they think he is. So I, I'm always intrigued when I meet different people to know that they think a different version of every single person. And uh, because what people think of me, that's their business. I don't ever just like flat out ask somebody. Now, I made that mistake, I have to I admit. I made that mistake one time and I hadn't talked to a guy that I had talked to a long time ago and maybe about 10 or 15 years. You trying to get in on us? Yeah. You're not cute enough. Hey, y'all. I look a mess. I just left the gym, but hey, Stormy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what that hey, Stormy stuff was until what, December in Miami? Yeah, we and I was like, what are y'all talking about? Y'all like, that's what the, whoever says that. And I was like, you know, I don't watch that show. She done made me forget where I'm at. Anyway, I asked the guy, well, I know it was 20 something years ago, but if you had to name something of who you thought I was and he broke down everything that he thought who I was. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, have you ever told anybody that? And he said, yeah, I told my wife. 
like she asked she asked him is there any girl that you used to talk to or you know talk to or date or whatever and he said I only can really remember one because xyz and I was like you never tell your wife stuff like that ever like I can tell you when your dad got married to Joy Mm -hmm. the one thing is is that I was asked, could you please tell him to take y'all's wedding picture down so we can put ours up? And the other thing I was thinking is, we gotta go to Home Depot in the car. Um, the other thing, the other thing I was asked was, can you can you tell him to stop talking about you all the time? And I'm like, no, because I don't live in your house and I don't care what goes on in your house, so don't involve me in it. So I just love what people think they know of other people. If you had to ask your friends what they thought of you, would you care what they said? Or would you be like, well, I can't, I can't help if I got five friends and all five of them think something different about me. I think that because I know half the time what they're going to say, and it's probably going to all be the same thing. The same thing. Yeah, it's, it's probably, I don't it's probably going to be like, well, you ain't lying. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I think that every, I, I can't wait to they hear. They might the, be spot on. can't wait to hear what the friends have to say, yeah. but I do think that it might be very important for us to go back to Bill and actually have the full, what do you say? One hour, two hours? What do you say? Um, how long would it would it take because when he said that we were like well yeah we ain't got that kind of time today I think anyway it was two hours because we was there for about yeah I think it was two hours yeah um so when I had it done at Louise's house he took a long time I mean everybody went into a room closed the door mm-hmm. and just you know had it done and um I think it did take like an hour and a half or something but again that was way back in 2000 I just look at the knowledge that he's learned even that and the fact that if you say this terminology about red to people that they don't even know about it to me is intriguing because I find it fascinating when you can take something and carve out a niche of your own where when I get phone calls from people and they say hey um so and so referred me to you and they said if I'm going to have this done you have to be the one to do it I'm like mm-hmm. I would love to have been a fly on the wall maybe to hear what that conversation was like to just be like oh okay that's cool thank you for the you know the referral or whatever but again if you have never if you have never experienced a red personality uh, iridology I do suggest that if you're anywhere near Austin or if you're anywhere near Houston or San Antonio where you could get to bail within a few hours I would say if you want to connect with him and we would feel comfortable with sharing his information then I would call and ask him if he still because I think he said he's kind of retired and he only does it for his current clients that he has and then people like me who he knows through a good friend of his because he's mm-hmm. he's how old is he 80 something and he doesn't he's not going to just invite everybody to his home and I don't suggest that he does that and I also don't know if he would be willing to meet at a location like a hotel or something again we're talking about an 80 almost 90 year old man and uh, I just love the fact that I've had the pleasure of meeting I was telling somebody this about sometime last year and I said you know when I sit back and I think about all the people that I'm so happy I met there is a man named Rick Gettle that mentored and coached he was the only man that I ever knew in business that was willing to like take me under his wings we used to meet every Sunday and believe it or not yes zoom was around in the first part of 2000 when Skype was around it's just nobody knew about it Louise told me about a years ago in like 2011 or something but he, he and I used to meet every Sunday for four hours on zoom and he was the original allegedly he was the original master at figuring out how to earn lots of money on piggybacking, teaching, think and grow rich. Mm. And because he knew that I was a leader through the think and grow rich um, foundation, he said, oh my gosh, I could help you a lot. The first thing he did was said, you know, what's your PO box? I can mail you some stuff. He sent me books this high. They're in my office. He sent me books this high. He sent me three or three works book that was like four or five hundred pages each. Then he sent me all of his books and everything. And he said, I want to train you. He said, like, I want to talk to you. Like, I'm so glad that you're so serious in it. And he never missed a call. Now he was in his 80s. Do you know that I hadn't talked to Rick in like three weeks? And then I just happened to find out that the man died. Mm. I was so upset because I was like, somebody needs to start an Instagram in honor of him. Somebody needs to, you know, honor this man because. He spent all of his life teaching, thinking, grow rich and earning a living off of it and, and spinning off some of his own books. I think he wrote over 50 some other books and stuff. Oh, wow. So I think of that excitement of being able to be in the, in the same room with him as I do being with Bill, because 
it was a few years ago that I said to Louise, hey, where's Bill? And she said, oh, you know, he moved to Austin and, you know, he's got people up there helping him and all that. And I go, wow, I really want to get with him again at some point. So that's why I made it a point in 2020. I got to get back to Bill. So listen, <clears throat> we wanted to introduce you to the red iridology, but we also want to uh, ask you to go and look it up for yourself and to learn because everybody learns different learn it the way you can I would say the best way to learn about it is to get some of the books that maybe that Bill Scott has which show him the books and then I would also say um and we'll take a picture of them and put them on the screen at the end of the show so you can see them in in real good uh vision of it because yeah turn it that way a little bit yeah and then also if you stay to the end of the video once we finish with this part yeah i know hey people used to make a lot of money off of that but um we would also like for you to stay to the end of this particular part of the show before the end of the closing so that you can see the pictures of um you can see the pictures of us in the book and all that stuff and then if you really 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 nosy you'll look into it on your own and then maybe get more involved but I would say start with getting a regular iridology testing if you're in the Houston area I uh, definitely would refer you to go to Abundant Health which is she Shelly Ober something but Ooh, anyway I, address. I got it I got it got it last week when she was promoting something and I said I need you I said in your promotion you forgot to put your new address she goes oh you're right so then she sends me the address and then she sent the post over again with the address because she said you know, we're, ha we're so happy to be in our new location, blah, 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 but no address. Mm. And I was like, well, how can we get to you? Because I'm definitely Even going to a new mile away from our old location. Yeah, because I need some new vitamins and stuff. And I need to get my hand analysis and all that stuff uh, for 2022 done. But um, I would say start with the iridology, the regular uh, eye testing. And then I would say read more into the rayad and then get a whole entire rayad personality, uh, all of that testing done where he can go even deeper because I'm gonna tell you he nothing he said I said oh and, and nothing he said made me want to question anything like you might not be know what you're talking about or let me google this it was just like he okay. told you all about your personality he don't look to Josh for 15 minutes and you were like yeah that's me he told you about he told you that you're sensitive mm -hmm. and that you get you get mad about stuff I mean he, and I'm over there uh-huh uh-huh because <laughs> I was like you know that you agreed because he he never met you before he never, he didn't ask us to send a picture of our eyes before we got there, of course. Or like talk to her about me or something prior. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you know, and yeah. he hadn't seen me since the early 2000s. So yeah. it was like he was seeing me all over again as well. He knew that I'd been asking about him because I was just, you know, concerned about, you know, where did he move? Because he had a lot of friends here in Houston. And I was just wondering when he moved to Austin, if he still had friends. Was there anything on the paper that um, was significant for you? Other than being the emotional type, he said, I'm the mental type. Now, listen, like, this all is all head. him looking in her eyes. He didn't ask yeah. her any questions about how she felt about anything he didn't prior see her he never saw her before in his life said, um, I'm left brain dominant um, I'm the mental type like all in my head think about stuff all the way through before anything mm -hmm. um, and that's pretty much uh, kinesthetic type as well mm -hmm. that's mostly it but like I mean when he went deep in what those mean then I was like yeah yeah and then when you had read he had us sit down and it was like okay cross your legs cross your arms do this like to see which arm you would cross and over that way he could one. tell which way you were dominant yeah. with your left or, cool. or with your right and you know the like funny thing you hold your purse or your watch which arm do you put yeah. it on like me um I changed from which side of my leg I cross because what happened for me is uh, I forgot the year I think 2006 when I went to Wizard Academy up in Dripping Springs Texas and I started getting a lot of training on how to work with your left brain and your right vein I think that after I learned how to work with my left and my right I mean my right in concert and know when to turn which side off and on because I always thought that because I was right brained that was because of my creative creativity and stuff but then I realized I am a true Libra and I am a left brain thinker as well. So knowing how to work the two together, it helps me out in, you know, business person and all that stuff, because I know when to turn what on and off. So again, I would say definitely check into all of those things for your betterment and um, make sure you stay tuned to see all the pictures so you can meet Mr. Bill Scott. But that's our show for today. And we just really wanted to talk a little bit about the Ray at personality iridology. We don't want to go too deep into you look into it. And guess what? In the comments, if any of you have already been exposed to it, let us know what your experience was and how it has helped you to in your growth as far as life. Because I know everything I've done has helped me in whatever my next level of growth is. And I'm looking for even more at this point. What about you, Angie? 
I can't wait to go again and get the full. Um, yeah, because I mean, it's it's even. I got a lot of information on this one, but it, when you go deeper, you get more understanding of why. You and Round Rock was fun. Yeah, I it was just really know. really fun. So um, that's our show for today. Yes. Before we let you go, please continue to subscribe, like, share, and comment on our channels. And that's our show for today. And bye for now. Bye.